All right. So today I just did some crazy thing. Not crazy actually. Just a simple thing. This is Fujifilm GFX 50R. All right. That's a medium format camera from Fujifilm. Medium format. What I did, I put a macro lens. That's that's 60mm 2.8 D type macro lens from Nikon. All right. I put that lens using this uh, this uh, Auto DX Pro, which is Nikon G Type 2 GFX. Now, why G Type? Even though the lens is D Type, right? It's D Type over here. The reason is this adapter helps if I have any G Type lens, I can control the aperture using this uh, dial on the adapter. This is the Nikon to GFX adapter. So I can change the aperture. But I don't need in this case because that's I can manually change the uh, aperture from here. Right? Like like that. But here is the thing. Uh, by the way, I cannot change the aperture from 2.8 using this dial. I cannot. I have to close it down to 32 or maximum and then I can change the aperture over here. Okay, so the thing which I'll, I want you guys to see is this. Most people think that because that's a medium format, so it's a bigger sensor. This is a full frame lens, so there will be a vignetting on this camera because circle of projection from full frame lens will be small and it's a bigger sensor. Well, that's not the case. Look at this. That's full frame, 60 mm. Okay. And look what happened. I want to show you. This lens is covering the full sensor of the GFX. Alright. And this is small. It's because basically focus where the focus point is. So if I'm moving the focus point, so it shows me the critical focus in that. Now when I'm going to press this button, the sensor of the GFX will shrink down to full frame 35 mm equivalent. Let me show you. All right, that's auto. All right, but my lens is manual, so it's not going to work. Look, now it's equal to the sensor on the GFX is working just like full frame lens, full frame sensor. All right. Off. You see, small, off. This is full frame, this is medium format coverage. This is full frame coverage, this is medium format coverage. Full frame coverage, medium format coverage. So, using this lens, I can have more coverage more megapixel and more area to cover if I am using this lens on the video format. So in this way I can have more depth of field, a more shallower depth of field you know from this lens. So if it's shooting at 2.8 probably I am I can easily get f2 from this lens because it's macro so I can get more close if I want to take for example let what I mean to say if this is full frame all right coverage and the sensor oh, sorry the lens is covering this much area all right and I switch to medium format and I want to capture the same full frame full uh, full frame area in this mode exactly without changing the sensor size so I can I can go more close so the more close I can get it means there's 
the depth of field will get more shallow so from 2.8 probably I will get f2 from 60 mm so that interesting finding so in this way so so what's the theory behind all this the theory behind all this is that if you are having a smaller format lens and use it on a bigger format camera you always can get more shallower depth of field from the lens the lens if it's at f2 from crop sensor and you use on bigger sensor that f2 can behave like 1.4 also depends on the lens what's the minimum focus distances in this case because it's a macro lens so i can go more close so in this way the 2.8 will eventually end up giving me depth of field or f2 and i get the same uh, framing like uh, like uh, uh, the full frame why because i'm having a bigger sensor over here so that's the whole idea behind this i hope you like this video and uh, do let me know if you have any comments or questions related to it by the way you can apply the same theory of crop sensor over full frame so for example if you have nikon 35mm 1.8 and gpx lens and you can mount on full frame you can have 1.4 from that lens because the circle of projection of that 35mm is quite like almost cover the full frame almost there will be a little vignetting i already tested it there will be a little vignetting across the corner of the sensor but not that deep you can tolerate it and 1.8 we eventually going to give you 1.4 depth of field i done that testing and i can assure you that so today previously i done from crop sensor lens to full frame body today i did from full frame lens to medium format body so that's it that's a very good learning today we have and i want you guys to go for it try it you will you will get benefit from a smaller format sense lens mounting on a bigger sensor camera body thank you very much